and gentlemen, our next bout of the evening is scheduled for three two-minute rounds in the tough enough middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner with a record of two wins and no losses. Fighting out of Syndicate MMA, Las Vegas, Nevada, Isaiah Graham. His opponent stands across the cage in the red corner with a record of one win and no loss. Fighting independently out of Christensen, St. Croix, U.S. Virgin Islands, Justin Smith. Your referee in charge of the action inside the cage is Joe Sullivan. Graham is wearing the black trunks. Smith is wearing the red trunks. Three two-minute rounds. 185-pound division, the middleweights. Looking powerful, looking big. Graham's going to have area. to find a way to get in, though, because Smith does have that reach advantage. Nice jab. Smith just missing with that right hand. Graham fires back. Graham does have a lot of power in that left. Smith's going to have to watch that as he goes in. Always challenging when you're fighting a southpaw if you're not accustomed to it. A lot of battling for foot position. Whose lead leg is going to be in the better spot? Doesn't matter now, though. Justin Smith takes the fight to the ground. Posturing up. Graham trying to hold Smith's arms. Steps over, takes half. One minute remaining here in round number one. And just like that, Justin Smith steps over now in full mount. This is a bad really position. good, really good spot for him, really bad for Isaiah Graham. Even though he's in that dominant position, actually he just slid back into half guard, but doesn't seem super eager to, to just finish it. He's being very methodical about what he's doing on top here. Final 10 seconds here of round number one. Big shot there. Yeah, Smith did a nice job of posturing up and getting that one in, but otherwise not a whole lot of action there in the first round. Even though Justin Smith had himself a good spot, wasn't able to really capitalize with it. Either way, I think Justin Smith gets the nod for round number one. I agree with you, but that is a bad position for Isaiah Graham to be in for most of that round. That's a lot of weight on top of you when you're you know, trying to, trying to jockey to get out from that. So I'm curious to see if Graham's stamina is going to be able to hold up going throughout this fight if it continues for two more rounds, possibly. But Graham not taking a seat in the corner. I mean, we see Smith right here just controlling, doing pretty much whatever he wanted on top, either from half or full guard, but didn't land a whole lot of shots, maybe two total during that whole, during that whole exchange. Round number two is coming up. Isaiah Graham is wearing the black with the gray and the red, and Justin Smith is in the straight red. Again, we have on our unofficial scorecards, Justin Smith winning round number one. I'll be curious to see if Justin Smith looks to take this back to the ground, because after round number uh, one, where he did have, at one point, full mount and wasn't really able to do a lot with that position, I'm just curious if that's where he feels like he has the best advantage in this fight is to once again take this to the ground and try to compete. He was incredibly dominant in there, and he wasn't getting hit. And nobody likes to get hit. Two more minutes on the clock. This is round number two after a little cleanup of some water there in the cage. We're back underway. Oof. Smith went for the head kick. Graham rushed in. But I think we're just seeing Smith overpower Graham. I mean, he is a very, very strong fighter. Oh, uh, yeah. 
Yeah. On that break, Smith did a nice job of throwing a combo. Not a lot of them landing cleanly, but still a few shots snuck through. Nice inside leg kick. Grant, Grant, Grant did a nice job there of sprawling, and now he's throwing some big shots. A couple of knees right to the belly there. One from each fighter. Another big knee there by Smith. Oh, big uppercut there from Smith. Graham tries to answer, but Smith ties him right back up. Smith looking for that single. Graham's doing a fine job of tying him up, but we haven't seen any real offense other than the occasional punch from Graham that's done any sort of significant damage at all. We're seeing a much better, uh, we're seeing a much better sprawl. Yeah, the takedown defense is all fine, but you have to do more than just effectively defend against a takedown in order to win a round, much less a fight. Now Graham there with a couple of shots. Which we have to see more of that from Graham. So. Yep. You see Tom Lawler coming into the cage and saying, look, you know, you're getting an opportunity with that uppercut, and, and he's right. That, that's been the only thing that we've seen from Graham that's landed. Otherwise, Justin Smith is the aggressor. He's the one that's pushing forward. He's the one that's threatening, looking for that takedown. It'll be interesting to see what sort of strategy that Graham takes going into a third round, in our opinion, down two rounds to none. Overcoming that reach of Justin Smith, though, is going to be hard. But up against the cage, we, we saw Graham land a couple of those inside shots. He just has to close that distance. Curious if Smith is going to continue to try to go for the takedown, considering he was pretty much stonewalled in the second round. Yeah, I mean, he was stonewalled in round number two, but I still think he won it. I agree as well. So. That's what's working for you. I mean, the only thing that, that Graham has threatened with, in my opinion, in this fight so far, has been that uppercut. Yeah, and he has a lot of power on those hands. Third and final round, two more minutes on the clock. He just has to find a way to land it. Coming to you from Las Vegas tonight, this is the Cox Pavilion. Dave Farah and Jason Mahoney on the call, and Smith opens up with a shot that just goes to the right of the head of Isaiah Graham. Position we've seen a lot in this fight up against the cage. Oh wow! Now Graham now threatening, looking for that back, but Smith does a nice job of rotating those hips over, and he once again ends up in top position. Wow! Just steps sits into right it. down into mount, this and isn't... this is a bad spot for Graham, who's really throttled with his ability to do anything. Pushed up against the cage on one side, you have a big 185-pound opponent on top of you, and not a lot of room to scramble out. Somebody's got, we've got some blood on the forearm of Smith. Uh, it looks to be on the, on now on Graham's shoulder. I think it's, I think Smith's actually bleeding from his mouth. Like we saw in the first round, Smith is just very methodical in this. He, he's, he's not, he's not wasting energy throwing punches. And Smith is just tying him up. So there's 35 seconds remaining, and he remains in full mount and actually stepped out of it for a moment and then just sort of casually stepped back to it. It seems like Isaiah is not really trying to fight it anymore. I mean, after after three rounds, uh, you know, two and a half rounds, I mean, he's going to be very tired, especially having been in this position in the first round as well. That's a lot of weight on top of you, and Smith is doing a good job of just neutralizing Graham in any way, shape, or form. We're not seeing a lot of offense. But he's doing what he needs to win this fight. Final seconds of the fight. Justin Smith remains in top position, which has been the story of almost all three rounds. We'll see what the judges officially say. But again, Justin Smith doing a nice job figuring out the riddle of Isaiah Graham, remaining in top position throughout almost all of it. 
and in my opinion, getting a relatively easy victory tonight. Yeah, he's got some, uh, his lip, Graham did catch him in that third round. A little bit different than the last fight we saw Isaiah Graham involved in. That was quite a slobber knocker. This one a little bit slower, but when you have an opponent that's taking you down to the ground, and then like you said, you sort of, all three rounds, you're, you're just dealing with that full weight of your opponent on top of you. It, it's, it's smothering, there's very little you can do if your opponent has the ability to take you down to the ground and is good enough to get top position and maintain it, which is exactly what we saw from Justin Smith. Not a huge amount of offense, nothing nope. that was flashy or, or really that thrilling when it came to the offense he was throwing at Isaiah Graham while on the ground, but either way, very effective. Absolutely. Curious, though, it's taking a little while. Taking a little longer than I'd expect it to be. Usually, when yeah. that takes, we'll see what happens. Justin Barnett Bernard is walking to the cage right now. Could there be a split decision? We will find out. Here we go with the official announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, after a three round war, we go to the judges scorecard for your winner by unanimous decision, Justin!